Okay, I had a request for um, showing how I wired the rocker switches to the um, cold cathodes and the power supply. Um, basically, all of my information came from uh, Crazy PC. Um, it was crazypc.com products slash 82396b.html. Um, I'll put the address up there so you can. Uh, Go ahead and get there, but basically the uh, the diagram's pretty pretty clear. Um, um, I used the the grounds here on the mullocks. Basically, this um, I added a mullox to the switch so that um, changing the power supply would be a little bit easier um, without any complications to the wiring in the case. Um, and so I have this is the one that goes to a single, this doesn't actually go to the cathode, it goes to an LED light inside the case, but um, the reason why I'm showing you this as opposed to the cold cathode um, wiring is because I, I kind of used uh, doubled up wires here um, so that basically the one um, one Molex powers actually two inverters, which is a total of four cathodes. Um, and it's, they seem to be just fine. Um, I looked at the, com the comparison of powering um, one Molex for one cathode versus one Molex with two cathodes, or two sets, I mean, and the brightness is the same. They they light up at the same time. They don't, like, they're not delayed and warming up or whatever, so. Um, I'll basically just show you what I did, you know. To create that Molex, I ended up just making it short and then wiring the rest of it into the, um, into the switch. So I just cut at some length, some arbitrary length, um, and I had a, here's an example of like what you might want to do. Um, this is the wrong, the wrong end. You want a female end so that if you have any male ends on your power supply, then you'll be able to, um, connect that easier. Um, you see the yellows here in this case are the, um, I, I guess, uh, it doesn't matter on, on the end that goes to your, your switch, what color they are. But I used yellow to signify um, hot because that's going to be the um, and I'm going I'm to take some pictures here. But the yellow is actually the hot, as you can see here. And there's two grounds. And this is from the power supply. See the little notches here, and then the notches right there and then there's an empty pin so I use a red wire in this case and then there's two grounds the center ones so in this case the hot wire goes directly to the well the cathodes have um, a ground and a hot wire so according to this diagram the hot would go first to the switch and that's the middle that's the middle pin and then a after that you know it would go to the device itself and that would be the bottom one the the bottom one goes to the device itself so that's a hot it goes to the red wire and the hots here are um, interesting because they're um, silver. I don't know if the, you got the same switch I have, but when I install it in the off state, they're, they're depressed in this direction so that the LED is on the top. Okay, and that's the orientation. Um, in that orientation, the, the numbers go from 1 to 3. So it says a little 1, 2, and 3 on this the one and two are the hots, the three is the ground, and that's the ground wire is actually, um, the, the the pin itself is kind of copper looking. So I don't know if you could tell from here, but it's kind of yellowish. Um, and they're all like that. Okay, so after you get the um, the red wire to the um, the middle pin, which is two, and going out to the device and then ground to one of those two grounds and then 
it's complicated. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you can see here. Just follow directions. It's pretty easy. Um, took me a while to figure it out, but uh, um, it works. So, I don't know. Good luck, guys. Um, as far as doing the, uh, you know, if you wanted to do two per um, molex, uh, two of the cathodes, you know, you, you can reuse like these. If you have an old power supply hanging around, they're already crimped. You know, the the wires are already connected, so you can double your efforts that way. And be ver be careful when you're taking the pins out because um, you could damage them. What I use is like a, a fine needle, and I go in from the inside. I go in from the inside, and if you look, there's two little pins, um, kind of like wings hanging out and you want to depress those wings just a little bit and then pull the, the the pin out and then there you go you got it and you know cutting all that stuff so so yeah this uh this worked out for me you know just be careful when you're doing stuff make sure your your solders are good and you got good good solid connections so that's that you know this is the um the back side of my case it's uh kind of messy right now but Better than a, a lot better than it was because I used this this wrapping here. So, um, good luck. Remember, it's uh, Crazy PC. Just um, you know, Google it. And, you know, just type in Rocker Crazy PC Rocker Switch LED LED Rocker Switch. You'll get it. And that's it. But oh, one thing: the device is the inverter. So the inverter goes out to the two cathodes. Um, so when you're connecting, make sure your device is that, is that the inverter is that, and then this is, um, you know, one, two, and three, and that's the, uh, the copper looking pin. So, good luck. One thing I should probably add about the light switches in the position that I put them on the, on the 932 Coolmaster is that in doing so, since the pins stuck out a bit, it caused um, them to interfere with the hinge here. Um, actually, it was this, the rocker switch that was butted up against it too, too much, so what I did was the, um, the flap that comes over and would actually fit in between the rocker switch and the, um, I guess, the hinge mechanism on, on the, the door, uh, or on the, the case. The basically that that piece that goes in between, I had to just kind of cut off. So I used a, a Dremel with a uh, a cutting bit on it, and um, and then I cleaned it up quite a bit so it's not sharp or anything. It's pretty pretty smooth actually. So it's just cutting that little little bit off there in the length of the um, all the rocker switches together. So and it doesn't change anything as far as stability goes. It's because it's got quite a bit there to latch onto. And that's that, and I'm about to show um, one more time what it looks like at dark, so you can see how bright it is with four cathodes with this light switch mod. So this is in a completely dark room um, with the four lights, four cathode lights, two on the bottom, two on the side, and that's that.